going on everybody? Grim Repair here. This is going to be part one of my LT1 swap docu-series. The motor's coming out of a 95 Camaro with a 6-speed, and it's going into a 1990 Camaro with a V6 and an automatic. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it an automatic or swap it over to a 6-speed. This part one isn't uh, so much a how-to. It's more of a guide. I'm assuming if you're doing this swap, that you know how to use most tools. I'll go into a little more detail on things like the wiring and uh, some of the more custom things that have to be done to make the swap work. If this video helps you out or you're interested in doing an LT1 swap, consider subscribing. In this video we're using a lift to raise the car up but you can use a cherry picker and you can get some large jack stands or stack a bunch of tires underneath of it to raise the body up. I've done it that way. Some tools you're going to need are a 7 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, 11 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter line wrench, 13 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter socket, 18 millimeter socket, 19 millimeter socket, 21 millimeter socket and wrench, a ratchet, fuel line disconnect tool, flathead screwdriver, T47 socket, cherry picker or a lift, large jack stands or lots of tires if using a cherry picker, drain pans, and a mover's dolly. And I think that should be everything. Have fun, stay safe. You want to keep the steering wheel straight. When you put the cradle back in, you want the wheels straight so that you don't rip the clock spring inside the steering column. I've started off by draining all the fluids and removing the radiator. This pig, these wires here go to the fans. This plug here goes to the coolant level sensor. This went to the intake. This is a mass airflow plug. This is the IAT sensor. This came off the intake. I removed the fuel lines, pulled the throttle cables off, pulled the battery, pulled the two positive and ground connections behind the battery. Pulled this ground, goes down here on the frame rail. I'm not sure what this plug goes to, but you need to remove it. Pulled the brake booster hose. Pulled the brake lines to the front brakes. Unbolted the sway bar, removed the slave cylinder. Remove the torque arm and the cross member and the drive shaft. I removed the ECM, disconnected the four plugs that go to it, pulled these two plugs in front of the ECU, pulled a vacuum hose that goes to the heater controls. Down there are four plugs. They need to come through the hole in the firewall. Remove the plastic panel under the dash. And there are four plugs. You have these three and one that goes to the evaporator. And they all slide out the hole in the firewall. Remove the shifter. I pulled the heater core hoses. Pulled the top evaporator line. In my car, all I had to do was remove the cat to get the exhaust separated from the Y pipe.
on both the reservoir with two 10 millimeters. Going to go under and remove the six bolts that hold the engine cradle to the frame. Gonna slide a mover's dolly underneath when I let it down. And then I'm gonna come back up top and remove the strut mounts. Then we're gonna raise the car off of the engine. There's two wheel speed sensors on each, one on each side. Not sure if you can see it, but it's the white plug up there. This is on the passenger side. On the driver's side, it's the same white plug. The bolts you're going to pull, not while you're under it, or it could fall on you. One up here in the front. One in the middle of the control arm. And a shorter one at the back. Same thing on the other side. When you're removing the cradle, you want to keep a jack under there just in case. It shouldn't fall down because the struts are still mounted, but you need to be careful. There are 19 millimeter bolts. To get to the middle one, you have to go through the hole in the control arm. You want to stay clear while you're lowering it. Now we're going to lower the car at the same time we lower the jack. Now we're going to remove the strut bolts and then we're going to lift the car off of the off the cradle and it should be free. Those are removed on the driver's side. The back two are T47 bits. We're ready to raise the car. While you're doing it, make sure you didn't forget anything. Make sure nothing's getting tangled up. Keep checking it. And it's out. High five, you did it. Thanks for watching.